Hello, my lovely Taurus. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your March bonus reading. And this reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. Whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. Now, it is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely Taurus, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. May they please find those who need to hear it. You know, the Ace of Cups flip over. Maybe that'll find its way back out. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. And it keeps wanting to spin. Maybe that one's supposed to be in the reverse. We're going to read it both ways. All right. We have the Ace of Swords in the upright at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy. Got the Hermit. Yeah, I was going to say, expect communication here. Um... Some of you guys, if you have Capricorn in your chart, you may want to check that reading out too. Um, but I have the Ace of Swords here with this Hermit in the reverse. I would say expect some kind of communication. Got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Four of Wands. Four of Swords. Kind of wanted to go... Uh, upright and reverse and I kind of feel like that's a message because I kind of wanted to spin I do feel like this person has been in four of swords energy okay um but with it wanting to spin like that I feel like they're coming out of that to me that feels very much like the hermit in the reverse it feels like they've been doing a lot of reflecting and they're wanting to break the silence here okay so I do I, I am taking it both ways I feel like that's what them coming out of it and that's why it was in that spinning kind of motion here um and then we have uh the magician I love this. So this is a new deck. I'm still getting used to it, but I'm, I'm so in love with it. They look like stained glass windows, and they're just so beautiful. Um, the Magician in the reverse. So so let's take a look at this. I'd Like I said, I would expect some kind of communication. Somebody's breaking the silence. I feel like you haven't heard from this person in a little bit. Um, this, this For some reason, I feel intuitively that this person could have ghosted you for some of you guys. Um, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I do feel like this person is looking for something temporary. I don't feel like this is somebody who's wanting to settle down. And, um, you know, I, maybe that's not the right way to put it. I just feel like they're they're more looking for something temporary. They're, this person is not somebody who's, you know, um, in the market for something long-term or very serious here. They have the Four of Wands here for their intentions. So I do feel like this person has some kind of goal or agenda. We're going to need to take a look at that. Um, for some of you guys, it could even have to do with a place to stay. I don't feel like that message is for everybody, but it is for somebody out there. So especially with this magician showing up here in the reverse for their action, to me that can be a little bit of a tricksy energy. Somebody's being a little bit manipulative. And I do feel that Four of Wands, because the Four of Wands can be like reaching a goal, a finish line, an accomplishment, right? I do feel like this person does have some kind of goal in mind. They do have some kind of agenda here. Tell me about this. Um, tell me about this hermit in the reverse. Six of Wands in the reverse. Something could not. Some of you guys, something else didn't work out for them. So, like, they could have ghosted to, um, you know, be with somebody else or ghosted to do something else here, and it didn't work. And now they want to come back. Either way, for, for those of you where that's not the case, I do feel like, um, although I do feel like that's the case for a lot of you, I do feel like either way, this person has not, um, they have not treated you according to your value, okay? Not at all. They have not given you the, um, the treatment, the recognition that you deserve, the attention that you deserve, the time that you deserve. We have, I lay awake thinking of you. 
I don't know what to do. And too busy winning. We have lessons at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, I feel like this person is learning some hard lessons. Like I said, I feel like this person did not, uh, you know, they didn't value you in the way that you deserve to be valued. And I do feel like a lot of you guys, this person has left to go, um, to go, you know, try to do something else here or be with somebody else or be single. And that's a lesson they're learning the hard way because now that didn't work out and they are seeing your value. Um, but you may be too busy winning. Now they're thinking of you. They don't know what to do here. They got themselves in this situation. Like I said, they could have left for somebody else or they could have just ghosted um, abruptly. Got the Ten of Pentacles here in the reverse. With the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so I feel like this person... Um, they left something that could have been very long term, very stable, very committed um, in favor of something, you know, that turned out to be very temporary with that Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles is also a card to me of what we value the most. And with it being the reverse, they weren't, you know, they didn't have the right values. They did not um, have the right priorities in order here. And, you know, now that lesson is coming kind of full circle here and things are shifting for this person. Now they're wanting to come back. Wheel of Fortune. And that was kind of unexpected. The Wheel of Fortune can be very unexpected, right? So, you know, they didn't expect things to turn out this way. Now they're not really sure what to do. They have the devil energy here as well that just flew out. Yeah, I feel like this person was, you know, uh, focusing on the wrong things. Tell me about this Four of Wands. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Now they could want to come and make this work, but... You know, I feel like you feel like they took too long and now that you're too busy winning, you're too busy focusing on other things because just because they didn't see your value doesn't mean that you lost sight of your value, you know. And like I said, for some of you guys, they could need a place to stay or something like that as well. For others of you, I don't think that part is the case. I think that it's just they're figuring things out. You know, Ace of Swords is a card of realizations as well. You know, it's like now they're figuring things out, but it may be too little too late. Maybe you're too busy winning over here. Like I said, you didn't lose sight of your value. Somebody's inability to see your value doesn't decrease it. And I think that you've always known that. You've always known what you were worth here, Taurus. You have the Four of Swords in the reverse. Like I said, I feel like this is them coming out of that energy, wanting to break the silence. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, eight of, or Ace of Cups in the reverse, I feel like a lot of you guys are being met here. Um, you know, I feel like they're being met here with not the same energy as they left behind. Feel like they're realizing they may have lost their opportunity with you as well the magician in the reverse two of pentacles in the reverse seven of swords in the reverse so they're apologizing here but i feel like it's trying to change your mind i do i feel like they're trying to change your mind here um i feel like they could be apologizing here they also may be struggling financially or they just may not have things together like i said it is showing up as a little bit manipulative so Please be careful with that, okay? Um, only you guys get to decide who you allow to have access to you or not, but I would be cautious with this energy because it's like something else did not work out for them and, and now they're wanting to come back around. It's not for the, it's not because, you know, they didn't leave that situation because, oh, you know what? I had these realizations and this is the person I want. It's that didn't work out and now they want to come back. So I do feel like they have maybe realized some things, but only after that already didn't work out. So just keep, just Keep that in mind, my loves. Um, but that is what I have for you. Like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys, you never lost sight of your value. value so a lot of you guys are too busy winning to deal with this anyways. But, you know, I will be keeping you guys in my thoughts. And if it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you guys will need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, or the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here. If you want personal prayers, put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. Um, but if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you soon.